Hey, <clears throat> it's Renee with Cancer Size with Renee B. Had a really long day today. I uh, went in for just um, my every couple of months that I have to go in for the exterior breast exam, looking for outside cancer, signs of cancer recurrence, because even though you have a mastectomy, you can get breast cancer again. So um, some of you know that, some of you don't. But yeah, even though I've had everything chopped off, uh, I can still get breast cancer again. So they have to watch for that. So anyway, when I was there, they commented on my port, and they're like, oh, when was your last chemo? And I told them, they're like, you need to go get it flushed. And so I wasn't expecting that got it flushed and so now it's a little sore and tender. So anyway, got up super early because I had an appointment early in the day. So it's just been a long day. Let's put it that. It's been a long day. Not very motivated to really work out, but I knew today was going to be a stretching day anyway because I uh, haven't done it for a couple of days. So we are, we're just going to do some light stretching and uh, yep, that includes some squats, easy squats here. Nothing super hard, but just kind of warming those muscles up. We're going to stretch out our calves and our thighs and our quads and yeah, just a little bit, okay? Um, but again, starting with squats, just light squats. So your feet facing forward, your knees facing the same way, abs are in. I have not been eating well these last couple of days, so really I can feel it. I can feel the difference and I know better and I still do it but I'll get there. I've noticed I start to really crave vegetables now though, so that's something new. I've always preferred veggies over fruit, but I seem to crave veggies more now than other types of proteins or snacks, so that's a good sign. So I am making improvements, but I'm still lazy and tired after work and don't make the best choices always for dinner, but I'm getting there. I know better and I'm getting there. Okay, so that was just warming up. So I want you to spread your legs a little further apart. Turn your foot out, okay? And I want you to lean into it and bend this one knee and stretch this back leg back. And with the stretching kind of, you should be able to feel it here. Okay, and I want you to lean over, stretching out that oblique, that side. Relax and let it just stretch. You can feel that all along your side here, yeah. Oh, okay, now I want you to turn that foot in. That foot out, okay, line it up. Bend this knee to the point, you know, you don't want it to go past your toe, but whatever point you can. Oh, nice stretch. And then over. And up, feet facing forward, okay? I want you to just try bending over straight forward, straight back. Knees not locked, but fairly straight, okay? Now your hands go down and curl all the way down. You should feel that stretch in your back hamstrings, yeah? Now if you can't stretch all the way down like this because of being dizzy from chemo or recovering from surgery, have a chair here and at least, you know, get a little bit of stretching. So, keep breathing, keep breathing. All right, now I want you to bend that knee again. And this time it's coming forward, right? And stretching out that inner part of your thigh. Still with me? Yeah? All right, in the middle, and let's walk it over and stretch out that other side. And come back up and roll it up. 
feet to come together, okay? Shake it out a little bit. Now, I know we've done this stretch before, but I want you, so I'll do it a little bit at an angle here. One stretch, foot forward, right? And you're bending your knee, and this is the one you're resting on, is your bent knee, okay? So it's stretching out a little bit in your glute here, and a little bit in your calf. Now tap that foot, tap, 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 tap. And now to the side, back and forth, keep your heels stable. That's stretching out this part of your shin, okay? Now bend that front knee and straighten that back leg out. And again, that's just stretching that back calf a little bit. It's kind of a weird and awkward pose, I know. So now we go ahead and get the side. Bend that knee. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Now tap. And side to side. All right, now straighten that back leg. Whew. Feel that stretch in that back calf there. Great. All right, shake it up. Okay. So, so we do a few more squats here. Straighten those knees back out. A little bit of flexibility in there. A little wider stance this time. Yeah, good, huh? All right, so arms up. We're going to stretch. Clasp your hands together. Hold them up. Stretch super tall, okay? We're going to stretch our sides out a little more. Oh. When you have your hands clasped together, it uh, pulls that stretch a little tighter. This way. Okay, now here comes my class love this neck head and neck stretch. So hands behind your back, right? This one. See my hand here? Press your thumbs together and flatten them, okay? Yeah? And then tilt your head. Tilting it, yeah. Tilt it this way towards your elbow. I do that wrong every time. You should feel the stretch along your neck. Nice deep stretch that way. Alright, now we gotta switch it out. Press those thumbs together. Elbow off to your side. Lift that ear down to your shoulder. Okay, now clasp your hands in front and curve it out. Stretch that chest or the back, your back shoulders out. Yeah, chest is coming next. And now behind your hands, put hands behind your back. Okay, like such. And you're lifting them up, keeping that chin up, stretching out that chest. Those shoulders come rolling back. Good, right? Shoulder rolls. And now go the opposite way. Make them very exaggerated rolls. Bring them all the way up to your ears, forward and back. Yeah. Feels good, right? Okay, 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 okay. Gotta stretch out those. Keep breathing. Feels good sometimes. I mean, I know it's not a full hard workout, but boy, our bodies need this little bit of time to recover. You should always have a recovery day and a rest day. Now, a rest day, you could just walk. Nothing, you know, strenuous, but a walk. Or you could do yoga, do a, a, a more relaxing form of yoga, not necessarily a cardio one where you're pushing yourself in a bunch of planks and things. Um, or you could just do good old-fashioned stretches like these. Trying to reach down to your middle of your back here. Some people are really flexible and they can leave their elbow up here and put their hand back behind.
behind there and touch their hands together. I am not that flexible. Don't know if I ever will be that flexible. I guess if I keep trying, maybe it will happen, right? Okay, so feet together. We're going to roll on down. Grab those toes if you can. Relax those head and shoulders. Saying that more for me than you because you probably were already relaxed. I wasn't. All right. Now, kneel down. And we're going to stretch those legs a little tighter. Sitting, okay? Same motion we were just doing. But now we're sitting so we can pull, stretch them out a little more. that. Come all the way down. We're going to go into a bridge. So flat on the floor, your feet and your hands. And you're going to lift and breathe. And relax it down. Okay. And we're going to lift again. Still breathing. Still holding those abs in. Okay. Listening to your body. Let's do one more, okay? And release. Now I want you to, um, yeah, we're gonna stretch this way. So cross one foot over your knee and then grab that leg back and hold it below the knee. Getting a good, good stretch now on the back of our leg there. You should really feel it. If not, pull, pull your knee in closer to you. That will help to get that stretch and not stretching your knee, hurting your knee. And there we go. Oh, it feels so good. Good stretch. And here we go. Now, arms out, right? Yeah. And twisting the one side and looking the other way. Yeah. Switch it out. Pull those knees in. Now up to your side. Still with me? Yeah? Okay. Pull those leg up. Knees together. Again, it's the same as the one we always do when we're trying to stretch out our quads when we're standing. So we have a little more support. My cousin's coming to visit me and I knew it was, she was getting closer. She would have been cleaning house, but I haven't been. I'm reminded of it now because I can see all that dust under there. She's going to be here tomorrow. I'm not ready for her to be here tomorrow. She's tired tonight to clean. Thankfully, she's living in her RV, but still, you know, she's going to come in here when we're home and hang out and ugh. And then the dishes for a couple of days. Pops needs to be back and dusted. Bathroom needs to be wiped down again. Oh gosh. All right. So roll over onto your bellies. Okay, we're going to do a couple of light cobras here. And release it. Now release it, once you turn your head and press your ear down. So you're getting that little neck stretch in there, okay? Up 
and release the other way. Hold it here for a moment. And come up on all fours. And then we're breathing in and out. Stretching, stretching that spine. And back into child's pose. Nice stretch. it for tonight guys thank you so much for joining me listen to me whine about my port getting flushed and how sore I am and uh, oh yeah thank you for joining me a good stretch and listening to me complain about my horrible housekeeping <laughs> I love you guys make sure you're talking to your doctor and you're listening to your body if you need to do stretching more often just watch you know we have lots of stretch videos um, I have a lot of them in there now so you can work them in or if you feel like you need to do a harder workout go to one of the videos from the other day um but thank you so much for joining me on my journey and i want you guys to know that um we're stronger we are stronger you're stronger i'm stronger we're gonna beat this thing i love you guys i'll see you tomorrow bye